What's going on guys? Welcome to another tutorial in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a horror scene. Now, a lot of this has to do with the color, changing of the audio, and even including background music for the scene. Now, if you see over here, we have the Windows menu option, and then you have to select Effects and also Effect Controls. The Effects panel is where we can select Effects. The Effects Controls panel is where we can adjust the effects. Now, the first thing we're going to do here is type in Color Balance, and this is going to allow me to change the color of the video. Now, I'm going to apply this Color Balance effect to the video. You can select over here or you can apply it to the video on a timeline like this. Now the first option here is says shadow red balance. What I'm going to do is type in minus 95 and by the way this is not something I had planned so these are just randomly selected based on what I liked when I was changing the settings. So I was just basically adjusting the settings as I like the color and this is not something that has to be set for each video so if you want to select different colors you can go ahead and make changes to this because you might like a different color depending on the video that you're using. So over here I'm setting this at 100 and then minus 100 and then we're going to select minus 100 again. And the next two options are set at zero. Now, right away, you see that the colors are changed for the video. What I liked about this was that one, it turned his skin green, it darkened the colors in the background. You do see some pinks and purples, but for the most part, these colors are very dark. Then what we're gonna do is right click on the video itself and select speed duration. Now for this situation, originally I selected 70, and this really slowed down the way he was talking. You can adjust this as well. If you don't want the person talking that slow, then we can adjust this. But actually what I'm gonna do here is press Command Z so you can hear the original audio, and then I'm gonna change the speed duration. So first, this is an original audio. I told you we won't stop, and I meant it. That's right, pretty scary stuff. <laughs> so I'm gonna right click on this, speed duration, and I'm gonna type in 70. Now let me press spacebar. I told you we won't stop, and I meant. So for this situation, if you don't want them talking that slow, go to speed duration, and we can type in 75. And you can keep adjusting this until you get the right kind of audio that you like. Then what we're also going to do is add some reverb. The reason why I add reverb is because if you really want to make someone sound scary, just to myself, the way I think it would sound, there's a lot of depth to the sound, but there's also a reverb. So what I did was type in reverb, Add the effect, you can also apply it to the timeline again. And in the reverb options, we have individual parameters. And this is something I've talked about before with my other tutorials with Premiere Pro. With these settings, again, it's all about what you want to set it at. So for the first one, I had set it at 3305. So that's 3309, that's close enough. And the next setting, I had it selected at 64.4. Again, if you get close to that, that's good enough. And then the size, get around 71, 72 there. And then the density, somewhere around 68. And then we have a low damp. And that's a minus 6. That's okay. And then again, we're going to do a minus 6, somewhere around there. And then also, we're going to set this mix at 70. And now when we play the audio, there should be reverb. I told you we won't stop. And I meant it. Now that sounds pretty cool. But what I also wanted to do was include some horror music in the background. So this is an audio track that I found, and basically it's a very popular one. I'm gonna play some of it right now. So there you go, that's some scary music that you include in the background. And I'm gonna bring it to this layer here. And the reason why we're bringing it to audio layer two is because it's background music. Because when you have a track for the background, you want it to be lower than the other audio where the person is talking. So for the most part, this was okay from the original audio. But if I wanted to, I could lower it here on the timeline. You can also select over here at window and then audio track mixer. The audio track mixer is gonna allow us to adjust the audio as well. So for audio track two, you could do it right here either or. Then when I was editing this video originally, the audio didn't really need to be lowered. The audio was fine from the original recording. So what I'm going to do is just leave the audio the way it is and then press play and see what this sounds like. I told you we won't stop and I meant it. And there was another thing that I did. I wanted to actually freeze frame at the end of the video because I wanted people to get the idea of what I was trying to say in the video. So I'm going to mute the audio track for now and I'm going to cut this clip at the end. I just press C on the keyboard to cut and then V to select this. Right click and then we're going to select frame hold options. For this, I'm going to select on the end point and then select OK. Then what we could do is actually extend this and then it's a frame hold. Then what we can also do is extend that audio. So the audio is not just cut off when he stops talking. And then what we can also do is take the pen tool here. And then what I'm going to do is actually fade this out. So one point there and another point here. 
and then that's a fade out for the audio. And I have tutorials about that as well. So that way the audio fades out and then you can transition to another scene. So let me just unmute this and press spacebar and let's see what this sounds like. I told you we won't stop and I meant it. So that's pretty much it. That's my tutorial on Adobe Premiere Pro CC where I explain how to create a horror scene. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace out.